Now for tonight's Burt Lancaster movie and a change from the scheduled film Elmer Gantry, which in its later stages contains scenes with certain parallels to the recent tragedy at King's Cross. In its place, the fast-moving western directed by John Huston, The Unforgiven. Well, the next Burt Lancaster movie on two unfolds on Saturday afternoon at 2.35 when he hits the Hallelujah Trail. And hitting another kind of trail later today on Radio 1, Mike Smith will be in Preston as part of his Round Britain breakfast show starting at 7 this morning. And on Radio 2 at 5.30, Ray Moore will be in Gateshead beginning a bog-eyed jog in aid of children in need. And help Ray on his way. We've got his uh, record lined up now, so... On behalf of all the, uh, the bog-eyed joggers here at the television centre in London, working on two tonight, this is David Allen wishing you a very good night. Good night. Jogging on the bog-eyed jog Jogging on the bog-eyed jog Gathering speed for the children in need Jogging on the bog-eyed jog I went for a ride on a donkey I sat upside down on his back we were walking along at a gallop, and I wore my shirt over me mac. I saw a man running by, swimming. He'd soup in a basket with bread. I said, you're a funny young fella, because he wore a shoe on his head. Jogging on the bog eye jog, in Belfast on the jog. Belfast? Gathering speed for the children in need. Jogging on the bog eye jog. Then a woman came out the shop backwards. A shopping bag hung round her neck. She said, I think I met you tomorrow. So she paid me in cash with a check. A man had a dog that was brave. I said, where did you get that cat? Then it stood up, its legs started flapping, and it flew round the room like a cat. Jogging on the book I jog, in Portsmouth on the jog. What? I put my left foot in my ear hole to take the weight off my leg. My right leg started to buckle, so I hung myself up on a peg. A man sitting opposite beside me smoked a cigarette between his toes. Then he took out a frying pan to see me, and he tapped his ash out of my nose. Come on.